We, you are watching a master at work. Hi guys, it's Lupe from the Lupe Experience with a review of a flanker, a variant of the classic Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, Le Mans. This one is titled Le Beau Mans. Le Beau Mans translates to the beautiful man. And to be honest with you, I see no reason why this fragrance will be titled the beautiful man. There's nothing beautiful about this fragrance, apart from maybe the male models in the print ads. I just don't see why they would title it that. So let's get into the review of this flanker. This fragrance is rich in mint, it's rich in warm wood, has lavender, and quite a bit of white musk. Unfortunately, upon first blast, this fragrance comes off smelling very harsh, very synthetic, very abrasive, very rough, and smelling very cheap. And this is really terrible for a fragrance that we find in our major department store. It shouldn't smell like a $5 cheapie from your corner drug store. It should smell a lot better than that. However, this does quickly subside into what is a very clean, very, very powdery white musk fragrance. It does not smell generic or usual. This is not a smell that you encounter everywhere. However, it doesn't have high impact and it doesn't smell good either. It definitely does smell like the original Le Mans, but stripped of all its sweetness, stripped of its power and lushness and longevity and, and its projection, this one is cleaner, it's mintier, it's a lot more powdery. This fragrance cannot get any sort of recommendation for me. I think this is just a fragrance where Jean-Paul Gaultier tried to you know, milk the cash cow that is Le Mans. And at this point, it's getting quite embarrassing because there is no reason why this fragrance should have been released. It pretty much gets an A for effort and nothing else. Smell well, guys.